to remove fluid from the pleural cavity, thoracocentesis, you inserted the aspiration needle into the, an intercostal space inferior to the lower border of the lung in the mid-axillary line at the end of expiration. Which of the following is the highest level at which this procedure might safely be done without injuring the lung? We need to know the surface anatomy of the lung and also we need to know the surface anatomy of the pleura and in specific the lower part of the pleura so that the needle should be inserted into the pleural cavity to aspirate the fluid from the pleural cavity without injuring the lung. As you can see here, the lung is located behind the midline of the sternum at the level of the sixth costal cartilage. Then it extends laterally along the thoracic wall and crosses the midclavicular line at the level of the sixth costal cartilage. And then it crosses the mid-axillary line at the level of the eighth costal cartilage and then passes around the thoracic wall crossing the 10th rib on the side of the vertebral column. If we look at the interrupted blue line, the interrupted blue line represents the pleura. The pleura has the same landmark of the right lung at the sixth rib behind the sternum. And then the pleura passes around the thoracic wall and at the midclavicular line, it is located at the level of the eighth rib while the lung was located at the level of the sixth rib. Then the pleura passes around the thoracic wall and it crosses the mid-axillary line at the level of the 10th rib and then passes around the thoracic wall posteriorly to cross the 12th rib on the side of the vertebral column. So we can see here that the lower border of the lung and the lower border of the pleura, there is a two rib distance between them. Both of them are related to the six costal cartilage in the midline. Then the lower border of the lung is related to the sixth rib in the midclavicular line, while the pleura eighth rib in the midclavicular line. The lung is related to the eighth rib in the midaxillary line, while the pleura is related to the tenth rib in the midaxillary line. And posteriorly, the lung is related to the tenth rib, while the pleura is related to the 12th rib. So there is a, a two rib difference between them and this difference is actually formed by the costodiaphragmatic recess of the pleura. This is a pleural recess that is occupied by the lung tissue only during deep inspiration. So that's why during thoracocentesis the patient should expire so that to drive the lung away from the, from the costodiaphragmatic recess and avoid injuring the lung tissue. Now let's return back to the question and see the option. Which of the following is the highest level at which this procedure might safely be done without injuring the lung? Usually the needle is inserted in the ninth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. At the ninth intercostal space, which is located below the ninth rib, then definitely there is no lung tissue because the lung tissue descends down to the level of the eighth rib at the mid-axillary line. And there is pleura, costodiaphragmatic pleura, because the costodiaphragmatic pleura extends to the level of the 10th rib. So in the ninth intercostal space, the needle can aspirate fluid from the pleural cavity. But if we go a little bit higher, if we go to the eighth intercostal space, the eighth intercostal space is located below the eighth rib. Therefore, it is still safe to aspirate fluid from the 8th intercostal space mid-axillary line. But usually the procedure is done at the 9th intercostal space mid-axillary line with a slight tilting upwards of the needle. Anyhow, let's look at the options. So 4th intercostal space, this will be dangerous. 5th intercostal space, again, this is dangerous because it might injure the lung. 6th intercostal space, again. 7th intercostal space is located between the 7th and 8th ribs. And as I mentioned, that the lung extends down to the level of the eighth rib, so there is still possibility to injure the lung. While if we go into the eighth intercostal space here, uh, then uh, below the eighth rib, then this will be safe. But to be um, safer, usually we go into the ninth intercostal space. But the question is asking which of the following is the highest level at which this procedure 
might safely be done without injuring the lung because at this location, eighth intercostal space, mid axillary line, we have no lung, but we still have pleura, the costo diaphragmatic recess of the pleura, which extends down to the level of the 10th rib, but the lung extends down to the level of the 8th rib.